Hey guys, it's me, your favorite Nasir. Unless you know another Nasir, in which case they might be your favorite Nasir. As far as I know, I'm the only Nasir that you know, which makes me your favorite Nasir. And it's me, guys, TJ, Thaddeus, Josiah. Pony Boy. OB, I, I Chicago. Don't, you know, whatever you want to call me. But we're here at, at our Remote, remote control, control Control Center, Center. where we promote self control. Self -control. Where the choice is yours. And um, we've had a little bit of a problem because we have all of these remotes, all of this gear. All this expensive gear, this headset, this headset, this remote control, this remote control. This controller. Yeah. And we don't have a game system to use any of it yeah. for. You see, none of this, this is, it doesn't work. We just, we just have it because we're at the control center, but the control center doesn't have a game system. And we just can't seem to find a way to raise enough money to buy one. We need exactly $458.13. That's, that's with tax. Tax. Crazy. CJ, what is that at your feet, though? Oh, I think it's a wallet. Is it yours? No. You're not going to believe this, but there is $458 and... 13 cents in here. No way. So you're trying to tell me that there's exactly enough money plus tax in that wallet for us to buy a console? That's what I'm saying. What do you think we should do? Dun dun dun!
What can you control? Hmm. A paintbrush, a video game, a basketball, a drone. Oh, a mixer. Yikes. All of these things can be a little tricky to control, but with practice, you can get really good. But you know what's the toughest thing to control? You. Some days, it feels like your thoughts, your words, and your actions are all running away with you. But with God's help, you can learn to control you. It starts with inviting God into your thoughts, planting His words in your heart, stopping to think before you speak, choosing to reflect before you act. Through the power of God's Spirit, you can speak and act in a way that shows love to others and to God. You can choose every day to live His way. That's why showing self-control is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Whenever I'm in need and I'm looking for help, God, you're always there for me. Wherever you lead me, I can follow you. God, you're always there for me. Oh, God, you're always there for me. Help me believe you know what's best for me. Feel it in my soul when you are in control. I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way. Oh yeah, I do what I should do when you help me choose. I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way. Oh yeah, I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way. Oh yeah, one life to live and I wanna live it your way. Whenever I'm lost and I don't know where to turn God, you're always there for me Wherever I go, you're always by my side God, you're always there for me Oh, God, you're always there for me So help me believe you know what's best for me I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way. Oh yeah, I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way. Oh yeah. Yeah. God help us to be more like you. Cause your way is the best way. I feel it in my soul when you are in control. I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way. Oh yeah, I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live and I wanna live it your Whoa. way Oh yeah, I feel it in my soul When you are in control I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah, I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way, oh yeah. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 4, verses 1 through 13. After his remarkable birth, Jesus spent most of his years growing up in Nazareth. To others, he probably seemed like any other Jewish boy. He ran and played with the other kids. Catch! He worked in the carpentry shop with his father, Joseph. 
As he grew older, he studied God's Word, the part of Scripture we now know as the Old Testament. Worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. It was not until Jesus came to the Jordan River to be baptized by John that others began to realize how extraordinary he was. This is my son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him. Thirty years of life had led Jesus to this point, where God himself announced that Jesus was the chosen one. It must have seemed like the perfect time for Jesus to begin doing miracles and gathering new followers. But that's not what happened. Instead, God's Spirit led Jesus into the desert for 40 long days. God, I trust you. I trust your plan. During this time, Jesus ate nothing at all. He focused on God as the one thing he needed above all else. But he wasn't alone, not quite, because the devil showed up. You must be hungry, so hungry. It was true. Jesus was desperately in need of food. You are human, after all. The devil refused to leave Jesus alone. He needled and tempted him at every opportunity. At the end of 40 days, he offered Jesus a smooth, heavy rock. If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus stared at the round stone. He knew as God's Son, he could easily turn it into a warm, crisp loaf of bread and just tear off just a large, chewy piece to instantly satisfy his hunger. But he knew every word God had spoken. It is written, man must not live only on bread. S suit yourself. The devil wasn't finished. He led Jesus to a high place where the whole world appeared to spread out beneath them. Every powerful kingdom, every palace, every throne of all the rulers on earth, the devil smiled. He seemed reasonable in control. I will give you all their authority and glory. It has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus didn't flinch. He knew he would rule all those kingdoms. And to take the easy way, he knew it would lead to disaster. And again, he spoke God's words. It is written. Worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. The devil narrowed his eyes and readied his last shot. He led Jesus to the city of Jerusalem. They stood upon the very highest point of the temple itself. The worshipers far below looked as small as beetles. The devil smirked. If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. It is written, the Lord will command his angels to take good care of you. They will lift you up in their hands. Then you won't trip over a stone. The devil's true question seemed to hang in the air. Does God really love you? Prove it. But once again, Jesus had God's own words at the ready. Scripture says, do not test the Lord your God. The devil seethed with rage. He couldn't trap Jesus. So he finally gave up and left until his next good chance. When the devil was gone, God sent angels to take care of Jesus and provide everything he needed. And because Jesus spent his entire life discovering what God said, when the time came, he was ready to make a wise choice. Hey guys, we're back again. It's me and him and me and him. And me and him. But you know, we decided that it was probably best to give the money back. Yeah, I mean, we were really tempted to take the money to get the new console. And, and I mean, really tempted. We even found a discounted one that had like the Spider-Man games. Yeah. And we like, we were, loved. We were excited, Yeah, but it didn't happen. It just felt like every time we were like, yeah, we should give the money back. We just found something that looked better and better. Yeah. But we did it. We didn't, because we asked Pastor Ashley around the control center and we figured out whose wallet it was. And so we called them and gave it back. But you know what that reminds me of? What does it remind you of? When Jesus was tempted in the desert. Oh yeah, and I mean, he was tempted a lot with a lot of things. Yeah. And yet he still chose to do the right thing. Exactly. 
And that reminds me of why we should do the right thing. End of today's bottom line. Be ready to do the right thing. Because it's the right thing. I think it's a good idea. Well, we should pray about that, right? Yeah. Would you lead us in prayer? Sure. Dear Jesus, I thank you for being here today with us and giving us the opportunity to love each other and love you. I thank you for always being with us, even when we're tempted to do bad things. And I thank you for giving us the power and the strength to do the right thing always. Amen. Amen. I think I'm getting a call. Pastor Ashley? Hey. What? No way. An anonymous donation. For how much? $458.14? That's enough money for us to buy the system and tax and the system with the Spider-Man games. And we'll have a cent left over. And we'll have a cent left over. Well, you make sure you give them our thanks. We're so grateful. Bye-bye. You see that? Everything does work out. It worked out. That's and we'll see you guys next week with a brand new console. Whenever I'm in need and I'm looking for help, God, you're always there. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. I was trying to give her enough. I was trying to give her enough time. All right, and go. Welcome to the Remote Control Control Center, where we promote self-control. The choice is yours. Remote control. Aren't they a crazy thing? Yeah. Well, bam. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. This this doesn't work anymore. Like, the right trigger's not even there. That's okay. My pants don't match my outfit. That's it. I'm too tired to care about my outfit right now. Are we rolling? We've been rolling. Okay. And don't put that in the bloopers. Yeah. Hi guys! Sorry. You would yawn too. Are you that tired? Yes, I am extremely tired. It's only gonna get worse. Yes, it is. That's what we didn't do last month. We forgot to do a... That's a lot of editing. I just forgot editing. <laughs> just for Lucas's sake. Cheetos. Ashley. Ashley's sake. They're both editing. And... I'm gonna break these. Yeah, you are. Feliz Navidad. That's what I do. No, it's not. That's what I do. It's really not. <laughs> no. Feliz no. no. Navidad. That's what I do. That's what I do. You don't do that. I do that. We're still fighting about this. It's a month later. Because you don't do it. That wasn't bad. I don't think so. When you are in control, I got one life to live.